Hello everyone, this is Charlie Orchard with Landy KG. I'm just giving you a webcast of uh, how to use Landy KG Data Store. We've made a number of improvements over time and I've realized that a uh, little bit of guidance might, might go a long ways. So this is the first part of a four-part series, the first being just the initial beginning to use Landy KG Data Store. How do you act, activate it, get logged in, an overview of the site and then adding a new site. And that's what's going to be our main focus. Um, the next part will be how you actually add a new reading. The third part will be how you begin to use comparison, how you can begin to compare a site over time. The fourth part will be how to use the history tab to begin to do analytics on what uh, has transpired historically and with multiple sites so that you can begin to understand what's going on. So with no further ado, I'll just move on. Need to back up just a little bit and uh, for you to have data collected, we need to at least know that you had you had some kind of training. It may not have been Landy KG, but you've got some training, you know what you're doing. Somehow your sites You've developed some sort of GIS capability. You've got some mapping that's taken place. We like to use Google Earth, but it's up to you. Uh, but the fact is, is that you've somehow chosen sites, rangeland sites somewhere, and they're somehow, they've been permanentized or anchored to the ground so that you can go back to the same place. With that, some kind of baseline information. Your first reading has had to have been collected in one way or another. That reading is going to be either a photo point where you collected photograph, photography, six photographs with general rangeland information, production, grazing, general notes, precipitation, things like that. Or you will have done a blink reading where you've got a permanent transect that's out there. Six photographs will have been collected. Uh, the hoops will have been placed 100 foot or 200 foot transect uh, will be out there and so you will be reading everything from cover information on the hoops bare ground litter rock moss basal cover things like that leaf height species diversity of plants uh, production that's taking place grazing information the grazing index, uh, weather information will also be included in that blink. Or you will have done a pro reading, whether you did the same thing that, that we include in blink, plus you have a living organism category where you talk about what sort of life that you saw. Additionally, plant in, additional plant information could be included. And the ecological indicators for nutrient cycling, water cycling, um, uh, plant plant composition or actually plant community and then energy flow will uh, be included in, in the pro reading. So you will have collected information using one of these three method types. And so now that you with that reading, uh, we need to remember with that initial reading that for the first time there's two paper data forms that, that where information is collected. The first one is kind of this background form, and we, that's what we call the permanent location record. It's done one time. It's, it gives the site a name. It tells where the location is. It gives the GPS coordinates. It uh, gives the specifics on the, the transect itself. What direction does it run? Well, how far, what is the distance of the hoops themselves? You know, are there landmarks that can be used for reorientation? There may have been additional soils information that you've collected relative to depth or texture, uh, perhaps information relative to major land resource areas or ecological sites may be part of that. Uh, you've listed why you chose the site. You've provided information relative to the pasture itself, total size maybe history of the management, maybe some of your management goals that uh, you, you want to take place in this area. And then probably, or you may have had done some, been able to collect information as far as what type of plants would be expected to be on this site and or the production that would be expected on this site. So that's just all 
background information that really doesn't, you actually haven't done any reading. The second piece of paper or paper form is going to be, you know, either a photo point form, which this one is, or a blink form, which this one is, or a pro reading, which I don't have listed right here. Um, and so, actually, let me, uh, I can't change the setting. Anyway, so you've got, you've got the, the actual reading form itself is on this page. And so you've got data collected for both the permanent location record and the data form after the first time. Then in the future, you would only use the, the, the field form, the pro or the blink uh, form. You wouldn't have to fill out the permanent location record again. So once you've got that data, you need to have an account that's activated. You can call us at Landy KG at the office, 307-366-2445. You can email me at corchard at montana.net. And with that, we will give you a username and a password. And once you have that password, you will now be able to uh, uh, put your data in. And so to do that, you're going to go to landykg.com. You're going to go to this EKG data store login. A pop-up window will come up that shows uh, where you can put in your username and your password. And with that, once you've done that, a this will be a this is a very similar site to what you're going to see. This is a demonstration site for data store. And you'll see it's basically broken up into three little categories. We've got monitoring sites. This is where a listing of all the sites will be. On the right-hand side, the right-hand tab has user and ranch information, which basically a lot is we fill some of that in. You can fill some of that in. The central tab is a history tab, which until you have monitoring sites, won't do you any good. So in this case, you're going to spend most of your time over here on the monitoring sites tab. And what you need to do is add a new site. You're going to go right over here to add new monitoring site and it's the first thing it's going to say is, is what site type of a site is it and so let's say that you say well it's a transect a t100 transect um, and so data store will choose a number for you in this case t101 because it's a 100 foot transect if you said it's a 200 foot transect it would automatically give you a t201 unless you wanted to change that. Perhaps the site, the name of the pasture usually is what we put in here. And so the pasture name might be, let's say it's called the Joe Glenn. And we'll say that it's in Wyoming and the date established is today, April 30th, 2017. And the precipitation zone in this case is an 11 to 14 inch rainfall zone. And we can enter the, I have to know what the specifics are on the transect, but I'm going to say that the, the hoop was at 50, the default distance is 50, 100, 150, 195. With that, once that's entered, you now will have a, you will see that a new site has been created or is being created. And the first thing it wants to do is take you to filling in the permanent uh, uh, location record. What you now have is we're at the site spotlight. I'm going to just back up return to all sites. And you will see now you have on the home page T201, the Joe Glenn. And what we're going to do is I'm going to stop this video and we'll start the next one when it comes to um, where that we actually go in and we say we want to add a new reading. So I'll talk to you shortly. Thank you.